All right, so we have some exciting stuff in this video. And uh, what is that? Oh, it's in this box, of course. What's in this box? Well, let me show you. Oh, it is our new cylinder head. Not just any cylinder head. Okay, it is just any cylinder head. It's a regular two, three cylinder head. No more RS cylinder head. Oh God, no, the RS cylinder head, the voodoo, the magic in the RS cylinder head. Kirk, how could you get rid of it? It is so much better. Is it though? Is it really better? See, now this is what I've been hung up on for such a long time is I've just had this, I guess, false belief that the RS23 was superior and perhaps maybe it is stronger than a regular 2.3 because it is cast it out of a different alloy of metal. I always believe that most of the components were superior in one way from all the information that I have read. And the fact that the cylinder head is in fact different and how it's cast it and it flows better. Maybe just a tiny bit and even if it did, I wouldn't know where. So to finally see exactly the differences between a regular 2.3 ES cylinder head and an RS cylinder head. I'm gonna put these two cylinder heads side by side and we're gonna see all the similarities. <clears throat> I mean differences between the two. So let's go ahead and get those on the table and let's see what is going on between the two cylinder heads. All right, here's one and two. So here we have both cylinder heads side by side. If this one was cleaned up, you would probably never know the difference and you probably could never tell. They are casted identical. But you're saying to yourself, no, Kirk, the RS cylinder head is better. All the information says it is. It flows better. It's this, it's that, it's superior. Well, let's check and see how, how this may flow better. So let's go ahead and turn them over to our intake ports. And let's have a side-by-side -side view of those. I don't know about you, but these look pretty similar to me. There is no visible difference in the way these, uh, these intake ports are. In fact, let me get a flashlight in here so we can get a better look. And they do not look any different on the inside between the two cylinder heads. You can see they are casted pretty much identical. There is no difference in the casting that I can visibly see. But just to clarify port sizing, I am gonna take measurements here and we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out how big these ports are. So first let's go ahead and start on the almighty RS. I'm just gonna take a measurement of one of these ports. Now these measurements may not be 100% accurate, but this is just a comparison. So you gotta give or take 0.12 or so millimeters for accuracy. But so we got 33.3 by 25.2. So let's come over here, let's go to the same port. It's gonna be this one right here. This is the regular 2.3. So let's go ahead, double check, 33.4. A 24.9, so I mean that's that's pretty much the same, like I said, give or take 0.1 or 2 millimeters. That is pretty much the same. Intake ports, the same. The length of them, the same. How about on the exhaust side of things? Surely it's got to be better, right? It's RS. RS is better. Well, look at that. They look the same. But, hey, we got to measure just to be sure. So let's go ahead and take our measurements of our RS. We're gonna take lengthwise of this port up here, 48 millimeters. Check the bottom port here, lengthwise, 46.4 millimeters. Now these are weird shapes, so I'm not gonna do all dimensions, just the length of them, just for comparison's sake. So let's go ahead over here to the regular 2-3 head. Let's do length again on one of the top ports. 48.4 and then let's go to the bottom port 46.2 identical 
Wow, no, Kirk, this has to be something wrong. The RS cylinder head is better. I know it. That's why I bought the HPP. That's why I paid the extra money for the RS engine. It's better somewhere in the cylinder head. Well, let's see. Here is the combustion chambers on both heads, and everything looks identical. Now, the only thing is I do know is the RS engine does have slightly lower compression than a regular 2.3. So I don't know if the combustion chambers are slightly bigger in volume or not. I have no way of actually measuring that, but that is the only possible difference between the two, or it could have been a difference in gasket thickness. As far as valve sizing goes, let's go ahead and check that. Let's come over here to the RS. Let's measure this intake valve right here. We got 32 millimeters. Come over here to the regular, two, three. What's the intake valve size? Oh, look at that, 32 millimeters. Exhaust valve, RS head, 29.7, regular two, three. 29.5, the same. There is no difference in valve sizing between the two cylinder heads. The castings are the same. So I have no way of really knowing if there is maybe some slightly better like dimensions inside the ports in the inside of the cylinder head. My guess is there is zero differences. The fact that it was recommended to me just to buy a new 2.3, regular 2.3 cylinder head because there's no benefit to the RS cylinder head from someone who builds and tunes these engines was a pretty good dead giveaway that there is no benefit. And then now seeing them side by side, zero difference. When it comes to the RS, the biggest differences that I have realized between the RS-23 and the regular 23, and more importantly, the HPP variant of the RS-23, the camshaft profiles are slightly different, a little bit more lift, probably a little bit more duration, and the turbocharger. The turbocharger is significantly bigger than what you get on a regular 2.3 EcoBoost. These two parts combined is what makes the HPP RS Base 2.3 better than a regular 2.3. The cylinder heads, no different. The blocks, the block may be built out of a stronger alloy, but it is the same casting and it still suffers from the same weaknesses which is the open deck than the regular 2.3. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why I'm bashing on the RS that I've owned the RS engine and I've been an advocate for the performance of the RS based 2.3 here in the HPP Mustang since I've owned the car. And yeah, you're right, except the fact I'm not bashing on the RS. Now this is the problem. I think there's way too much bad information out there that is publicly available to see and view for the average person who is just Googling something on the internet, trying to figure out what the hell the differences are between these engines. And I was one of those suckers myself. That's why I opted to get an HPP car over a regular 2.3 EcoBoost. I thought I was getting myself a much, much better, superior engine that was gonna be stronger and not suffer from the same problems that you usually find in your average 2.3 EcoBoost. And I was hoping the fact that it was made in their Valencia, Spain plant, it was like exotic, you know? It like made me feel like I had something special. Exactly. It made me feel like I had something special and I really didn't. The only difference that I have found that is worthwhile is the fact that the camshafts are different, and the turbo is different. You can buy that turbo from Ford Performance right now and put it on your regular EcoBoost. Those cams, yeah, you could buy RS cams, but Ford sells even slightly better cams, the Ford Performance cams that have more lift and more duration even than the RS cams on both intake and exhaust for 200 bucks. So you can do the same thing for to any 2.3 for like 1,500, 1,600 bucks and get the same performance. And you don't have to worry about spending the premium price tag that you know Ford has upcharged on these RS variant 2.3s. 
It's sad to say because I really thought it was something special, but the more I have dug into it and the more I've learned about it, I've realized that it isn't that special and there isn't much different about it. It is so close to the regular 2.3 that I'm not even sure why Ford even went through the process of making it out of a different alloy and producing it in a different engine plant. My theory is, you know, these were European spec 2.3s. You know, the Ars Focus first came out in Europe. We never got it in the States until Ford came out with it in 2016. That was the first time we ever got an Ars Focus in the States. It was always a European model. And the fact that the cars were actually built, I think at uh, what their Germany plant, you know, they were, they were a European spec car and Ford ended up producing them for the American market, but they were all built out of Europe. Well, guess what? Ford decided they didn't want to sell it anymore to Focus. Why? Well, because the RS had problems too. The regular Focus had a ridiculous amount of problems because of the dual clutch transmission. So yeah, Ford stopped producing them and they probably already had a surplus of these engines sitting about. That's probably why they got the engineers together and decided, hey, maybe we can take these leftover RS 23s and stuff them in a Mustang, charge an extra $6,000 for the package, and you have a high performance EcoBoost Mustang. And I'm almost positive that's what they did. If these engines weren't sitting around somewhere, this would have never have happened. The HPP EcoBoost would have never have happened. Proof is in the pudding, regular 2.3 cylinder head, RS cylinder head, no difference whatsoever. They are the same. Your performance will be the same. The difference is in the turbo camshafts and as far as it goes, if you're going to build a 2.3, you're best using a regular 2.3 head and a 2.0 block. Those are the tried and true combinations that get the most reliability, the most strength, and the most power. The RS, the RS has its place, and people have made a lot of power on the RS parts, but... They can only handle so much, though it's, they seem to do handle a lot more than the average 2.3. That is the biggest benefit over a regular 2.3 is just the fact they are a bit stronger. But if you only care about power, don't think you're going to get any more by using this cylinder head over this one. It ain't going to happen. Get yourself a nice 2.3 cylinder head, save that money, put it towards a better block and a built bottom end. Get that thing tuned, make the power, have fun, and just hope you don't have any problems. You know, this was a video I've been wanting to make. I wanted to compare the differences here so people know. So this information is out there because I couldn't find it. You go on the forums, no one knows. They all say this, they all say that, no one knows. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures of all of this. I'm gonna take my measurements of everything I just showed you and I'm gonna put it in my blog. The Cars Creative blog, you can get the link in the description. It's always been there. And then you can go there, click on that, and you can go and see the page where I'm gonna have a write-up on these cylinder heads and the specs that I've measured on them and pictures and the differences or similarities between the two. That way the right information is out there for anyone curious to know the real differences <laughs> between these two uh, parts, which is nothing. So always be sure to check that out. But it's gonna wrap it up here for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep looking out for next Cars Created video.